Even trips. Give me two seconds. Right, you. Come on. Doug. Some boy. He's out there. Bringing out the door to you. Anyway, so. <clears throat> excuse me. Hope you're all well. It's the 24th of May. Half past five at night. Um, we're just about out of lockdown, can't you wait? Camping, I've been out once uh, with a big fella, uh, we're up to the rest and be thankful. Came up that area two or three weeks ago, a month ago maybe. Anyway, so we went up there, pitched up, I had the MSR Elixir 2, absolutely brilliant tent. Big man's got the Van Gogh, I think it's a Cairn Gorm 200, loves it, bomb shelter, brilliant tent. Not for me though, because it's too low, I like something I can sit in, but a head space. I could get my arms opened up, have a wee bit of, wee bit more body movement inside the tent, which I, which I need me being a slightly larger chap. <laughs> anyway, so, sleeping bags. I have got myself a new sleeping bag. Hang on a minute, I've turned this round. And I'll tell you what I've got. I've got the, I've got the OEX Leviathan 900. <clears throat> it's a great sleeping bag, but something about it, I just, I'm no, I'm no fussy for. I'll tell you what it is. It's because it's a mummy sleeping bag. Wait to get the dug in. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly, honestly, I think. He's standing at the door. He's went back in. He's standing looking. What an idiot. Sleeping bag. I like a sleeping bag where I can get my feet. The first sleeping bag I had was uh, I got it for Mountain Bear. It was a brilliant sleeping bag, actually. But I just couldn't get it up around about my shoulders with a baffle. There wasn't a baffle in it to kind of, if you lie on your side, you were exposed, your neck was exposed, your shoulders were a bit exposed. That is nae good. So I've got myself this bad boy. Night Star 300 quad. Uh, Vango. So this is the new weapon of choice. Let's get a wee look at it. Uh, it's in a pretty decent compression sack. Or bag, whatever you want to call it. But let's get it opened up and let's get a wee look. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what other. Well, the kerfuffle's about, the camera's not in the best place, by the way, to be showing you this, but I'll do what I can. Do, 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 do. Right, open them up. Give myself a chance. One neighbor. A couple of new subscribers, which is good. Thank you for tuning in. This is well compacted, by the way. Anyway, you can see that. Actually, I'll tell you, but let's have a four built up. Let's weigh it. I'll tell you what the sizes are. Grams, let's. Less is one. Two seconds. 1948, couple of kilos. I'm alright with that. I'll only be humping stuff up and down that West Island way. Uh, suggested usage. It's a three season sleeping bag. Um, you see that there? Minus three to 18 degrees. Total weight two kilos. Inner size length 205 centimeters. 78 centimetres wide and the foot, the foot um, width is 70 as well, so rectangular, zero degrees, comfort, transition up to minus six, risk minus 23 for extreme. So that's it there. Let's go have a look at that. Tape it as well, as well. Look sharp in here. That's it there. That's it. Right. Yeah, there we go, look at you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn that camera around. I'm going to put it there and look down the kitchen so you can see what I'm doing. There it is. Jeez, look at the size of that. Hey, that feels absolutely brilliant. I'll come a bit closer there. Nice kind of cottony feel on the inside. There's a shoulder baffle that I so desire. Let's have a wee look at this bad boy. I didn't see a wee inside pocket for keeping your phone. Oh no matter. So it's got the, that's the baffle there for your Gregory. That there, and there's the, the toggle thing to pull it down. 
is zipped on the left hand side because the hood <coughs> this is lying down flashes up there so it's on the left hand side I'll tell you what feels really good that on the inside it's like a you know, it's like a brushed cotton there is a wee there is a phone sort of phone pocket in there you want to see that? you want to see that? there you go wee velcro tab on it just to keep it shut keep your Keep your phone warm next to you, so it doesn't day it's selling through the night. But that is brilliant. I, quite, I love that. And it feels like the Leviathan one... i put this back up here. The Leviathan sleeping bag has got this uh, coating on it. It helps to protect it, protect it from the, the damp through the night. I don't know if that's quite much the same. But I'll tell you what, you can see it in the light. And then that's the light going on the window here. I can't wait to use this. I really can't wait to use this. I'll tell you what I did get as well. I got one of the um, fancy air mats. And I got the pillow that you tie on it. Brutal. I had a wrestling match for that the last time I was out. That was only an air bed that's got the pillow built in. No, that's stupid thing that's flat on the other place. But that's a... Uh, so that's the Night Star 300 quad. As you can see there. That's it there. Zip looks quite good on that. Good quality. It's got this thing here. Did I just turn this bit You see what I'm doing? That looks like anti snag. The anti kind of snag flap thing to stop the cotton or the outside of the sleeping bag getting snaked and that thing. That's no use. Well, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm delighted with that. So that's it. There's plenty of space. Let me just put this back down here again. And we'll have a wee look at that. I'm going to put the kitchen light on so you can see me a little bit. You know what you're saying? There we go. No, I'm five feet ten. There we go. That's going to take somebody about 20 feet tall. Rectangular shape actually it zips all the way around so that you can open the sleeping bag up like a like a quilt, which is a brilliant idea. But me being inexperienced with sleeping bags, it might be the with that. But I'm pleased with that. That's a belter. That dog's lying out the way. Right, listen, it's been a pleasure. Um, I'll maybe get a wee video up on the way camping on Wednesday with my big pal. So um, I'll maybe get a wee video up and uh, see the tents, sleeping bags and all that sort of stuff. So get yourself out there, get a lot of camping done and uh, stay safe. Hopefully I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers. Catch you.